All right, so making more cables. I uh, thought I would address this one comment people had. They were asking me basically about the heat shrink comment. And heat shrink, you can buy it anywhere. You know, you can get a, a whole bag of these things off Amazon. Uh, you just have to know what size you want. I find the 10 or 11 millimeter size works best with the RJ45. Um, it all depends on the exact RJ45 you purchase and you know a few variables but 10 11 millimeter 10 usually works good for me but you might find an 11 millimeter uh, might work uh, better depending on your specifics and basically i make my cable like i normally do i slip it on uh, this time i'm just going to use a, a good old heat gun uh, in one video i used a, a lighter people didn't, thought i was damaging stuff so i'm going to just turn this guy on for a bit and melt it and i'll show you how it shrinks up There you go. Nice uh, tight fit because I find uh, many times the water outside might pool in the back of the RJ45 over here and it starts to cause a little bit of an issue and this just seals it up really nice. I've seen other people use putty or dope or other ways of doing this uh, or even caulking. I don't like any of those. I like this a little bit better. If I ever have to work on this, I get my X-Acto knife. I just cut it along the side and I could work on the connector if I want to check it out. Normally, if you want a new end, you just cut it create a new end anyways so after you've heat shrunk it on you might notice if you got a little too much I did this on purpose just to show you an example uh, you can see the shoulder there right um, in most cases this is fine uh, some people get a little concerned and just want to be perfectionist and that's fine too so I find that if you just you know turn this over just get a good old exacto knife nice sharp one just score it along there But you can still see, right? There you go. See? Nice and clean. And you're good to go. All right, moment of truth. Got our uh, cables all plugged in. And, of course, I always suggest you test your cables. Even if you buy them from a reputable vendor, you should be in the habit of testing them every once in a while. In this case, I'm going to use my good old link runner. And we'll uh, do the moment of truth. To do a cable test and who knows fail pass whatever I took my chance I did my heat shrink and everything and oh look at that it passed um, that's it so it's good to go and again if you are making them I strongly encourage you to test every single one if you're buying them from manufacturer just spot check them in a batch like I don't know one out of every 10 or 20 uh, just to make sure because I've, I've gotten many out of the bag that are kind of messed up so have a good day folks Bye for now.